Hello everybody, welcome to Chasing Solana, your one-stop shop for spirituality and lifestyle content. I'm Michelle and today I want to talk about the long-term effects of dealing with energy vampires, covert narcissists, whatever you want to call them, toxic people who drain your energy, who drain your life force energy, who drain your battery all the way down until you have nothing left to give. So let's get right into it. If you saw my last video that I made a few months ago, I talked about how to spot an energy vampire or covert narcissist if a person does certain things and that's how you know that they're an energy vampire or covert narcissist. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out up here somewhere. When you're dealing with somebody who's toxic, somebody who's draining your energy, an energy vampire, you are under constant stress, constant pressure. So you'll find that your cortisol levels are constantly elevated, which basically makes you feel like you're living in a war zone. It makes you feel like you're always walking on eggshells because you don't know when the next bomb is going to drop. So I'm just speaking from my experience what I've experienced from dealing with toxic people for a very long time. Those who have been targeted by energy vampires often exhibit signs of complex post-traumatic stress disorder. So this can look like feelings of shame or guilt, trouble regulating your emotions because you are always on a roller coaster ride. It becomes difficult for you to handle your emotions or express your emotions in a way that isn't so erratic, right? A lot of the times people who have trauma, when they're triggered, they respond based on the trigger. Another thing, increased anger or irritability. That goes back to feeling on edge all the time, feeling like you don't know what is going to happen. So you have all this tension in your body, which in turn makes you very irritable because you feel so uncomfortable in your body. You don't feel at ease. You don't feel at peace because they don't want you to feel at peace. Another effect is difficulty trusting other people. Now, these toxic people can gaslight you and manipulate you in ways that makes you feel like you're crazy so you don't know what's true or false you don't know what's wrong or right so it's hard for you to trust other people because this person or these people that you have put your trust into have consistently uh dishonored that trust that you've put in them they've consistently shown you that they cannot be trusted so now you don't know who to trust because the person closest to you you can't even trust another long-term effect is isolating yourself because you can't trust anybody because you don't know who's genuine you just want to be alone to protect yourself right you don't know you you just can't be around anybody and also that goes to feeling so on edge all the time, feeling so anxious and tense that you feel uncomfortable being around other people because again, you're not at ease in your body. So then these feelings of tension and anxiety can lead to you trying to numb those feelings. So then that turns into substance use, right? So maybe you try to numb out with alcohol or maybe you try to numb out with um, marijuana, cannabis, or anything that's going to lessen the intensity of the tension that you're experiencing. If you can relate to any of these things that I've said so far, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button or leave a comment down below if this is resonating with you at all. So yeah, you might just find that you're constantly reaching for something that is going to make you feel a little more comfortable in your body. You may also experience physical symptoms, headaches, chest pain, uh, dizziness, you might have some digestive issues. Again, that goes to that chronic stress that you're under, that chronic tension. When you are chronically stressed, that leads to disease, dis-ease. You are not at peace. 
you are just under all of this stress and we know that many diseases are because of chronic stress cancer fibroids gastrointestinal issues like ibs all of these things are related to chronic stress depression anxiety your body is in this constant fight or flight mode and because of that you produce certain cells because you can't release that tension it's this toxicity it's a buildup of toxicity that's happening in your body and so that may lead to feelings of depression or anxiety when i had my time with an energy vampire i was constantly feeling like i would rather be anywhere but on this earth you know what i mean like i was just so depressed and so anxious all the time that i thought that it wasn't even worth it to be here i just constantly felt crazy i just constantly felt sad and anxious and unhappy so that can happen also long-term effects include reliving those traumatic interactions that you've had with that person or those people so these memories continuously replay all the gaslighting all the manipulation all the lying all the negativity constantly replays because maybe you haven't had the time to process this right so i highly highly encourage you if you have been in a situation where you've been surrounded by toxic people energy vampires covert narcissists to seek therapy seek therapy so that you can process all of the things that you've been through with that person so you can begin to let it go and you can begin to heal processing my trauma with a trauma therapist has been a major factor in my healing and recovering from that experience you know i don't like to have the victim mindset i don't like to put blame yes that person did what they did but now i have the power on how i'm going to move forward so i try not to put blame or have a victim mentality because we're all experiencing something we're all experiencing hurt in some ways and i understand that people who are energy vampires people who are toxic people who are covert narcissists or any sort of narcissist they've been through something in their life too which has basically made them unable to have emotional intelligence appropriate for their age so they can be in their 30s and they will act like a two-year-old that's just what it is and that can be because they had that traumatic experience, whatever it may have been in their lifetime, that prevented them from growing emotionally in an appropriate manner. You may also experience low self-esteem after being in a situation or relationships with energy vampires because, you know, again, you feel crazy all the time. They put you down. They, they give you those backhanded compliments or it may not even be backhanded they might say things up front to you that really just diminishes your self-esteem because again their goal is to suck all your energy dry and how they do that is by taking away your happiness taking away your light in any way that they can so then you may begin to have low self-esteem not believe in yourself become a hermit isolate yourself just because you believe you're not good enough but you are good enough okay if anyone has ever made you feel less than i'm telling you right now that you are good enough forget about what those people have said to you forget about any negative thing that they've said to you know within yourself that you you are worthy you are good enough okay don't let them take your power away reclaim your power take it back and shine your light the next thing is being easily startled. That's that hyper vigilance, feeling on edge all the time because you're always constantly walking on eggshells. You don't know when the next thing is going to happen. So you're just like on edge all the time. You're just like so scared of everything. It's like a cat who's in an environment that they're uncomfortable with and they hear all these noises. Their eyes are super wide. That's how you feel. You just 
don't feel at peace, you don't feel comfortable. And again, it's just because your environment has been so unpredictable for so long that you just, you know, you just don't know what's gonna happen. So you're just never at ease, you're never relaxed. Uh, and that can lead to uh, also living from a place of fear, believing that the world is such an unsafe place. For so long, I believe that this world was a terrible place. And yes, there are things that happen in this world that are terrible and devastating. But for so long, I had this view that the world was all bad. I was unable to see any good in anything. You know, I was I was so unhappy. I couldn't understand why people would ever want to have children and bring them into this terrible world. Like my view of everything was so negative. I couldn't see good in anything. So you may experience that. And that's because you've been surrounded by all of this negativity that it's hard for you to see the light. It's hard for you to see sunshine, to enjoy nature, to, enjoy the company of other people so that can happen as well a few things i wanted to touch on as well i know i mentioned people developing cancer or fibroids or something like this women if you have cysts or fibroids in your body assess who you've been around assess the type of relationships you've had personally i developed cysts which I, I hadn't had before until I was in a situation that was very, very, very draining and very, very, very toxic. And all of a sudden I started to develop these health issues. Slowly but surely, I developed all of these health issues. And let me tell you something, as soon as I broke away from that situation, my body started to change. A lot of my cysts and fibroids decreased in size to a point where they're almost completely gone. And I believe that's because I have distanced myself from that person. I have decided, not just that person, all of the toxic people in my life, I have decided not to deal with toxicity anymore. And because of that, I've noticed a positive change in my body so if you have any sort of cysts or fibroids i'm not here diagnosing you i'm just letting you know assess the people who you share your energy with assess if there's anybody covert narcissist energy vampire anybody toxic assess if there's anybody draining your energy i wish you guys blessings love peace and happiness if you're in a situation where somebody's draining your energy i pray that you can find peace and get into a situation that's healthy for you so thank you so much for watching this video i don't like to talk about stuff like this just because you know it is negative but i would like to bring awareness to you guys so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and notification bell thank you so much for watching and until the next sunrise or sunset namaste